Start the bushfires, the diseases. Wouldn't it be great if we could relocate koalas back into the Grand Buttes? Now, great for tourism, but also beautiful, iconic animals that we need to save. Now, hello, baby. This is Billy. The dingo's all right, is it? Hello. Hello. Now, Billy here is a 15-month-old baby southern koala. Now, what we're going to do today is I'm going to let everyone pat Billy, and then I want you to pat him and smell your hair. It smells like a footy locker room. Boys really stink. A bit like your boy from your classroom. They smell because they like to scent their territories. Now, he eats a kilogram of gum leaves a day. Now, there's only three animals on planet Earth that can eat gum leaves, and he's one of them. They have a very special bacteria in their gut which breaks down the cellulose and the toxins in the food that they eat. That's adorable, isn't it? Now, you hear about animals quite like koala being culled in the upwaves. Wouldn't it be great if we could relocate some of those animals back into the Grand Dink again? Now, in Victoria, you can't actually hold a koala, but you can pack one. So what I'm going to do now, we're going to do a quick mini show now. Hopefully we'll meet you at 11 o'clock in the main hall. I'll give the koala to uh, Erin, and we might even get the kangaroo out, and I'll get the crocodile out. And we might bring out some snakes and things. Stay in here while it's raining. But guys, please come up and have a chat. Get some photographs, get some amazing pictures. And uh, I'll see you later on for another show. But thanks, guys. Nice to meet you all. Yeah. You guys